guys, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to yet again a brand new video. For today's video, boys and girls, we are actually gonna be cleaning the interior of my car. Okay, okay, okay. I know I've got a little bit of explaining to do because this is this is another way of living, boys. This is if your car looks like this, I don't know what kind of Grinch looking ass you you look like, but there's another way of life, boys, than this. This is like disgusting. This is like this is me every time I get in my car at the moment. <laughs> so basically, I don't get to clean my car a lot because genuinely, I don't drive my car enough for it to get dirty a lot. But for the past month, I've literally just been like, um, if I've got rubbish or something, I've literally just been like, yeet. So yeah, I've kind of just let the burp build up once again. I've done this video before, but I'm gonna do it again. I did that like a year ago, so. So here are the products that I'm gonna be using to impregnate my car interior. I've actually got some all-purpose cleaner for the plastics and all the floor mats, as well as some dressing to make everything look like a bloody new iPhone. Next thing we have is a beautiful drill brush. And lastly, we've got some more brushes and some glass cleaner to make the glass look sparkly clean. The outside of the car are genuinely look kind of like beautiful right now. So um, obviously we've got new sun strip, but on the inside of the car, it is looking dirty. We've obviously just got dusty everything and we've got shit all over the mats, all over the carpet, rubbish left in it. It is a manky dink. First thing we're going to do quickly is we're going to get rid of all of the like shit in the car. So like um, all of the sweet curry dip. Honestly, boys, this is the best sauce you can get from McDonald's. Trust me. Oh, hey again. Just cleaning the thing up. I do very good, very cheap job. I then, so I pulled out all of the mats from my car. But to be honest, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes. Okay, all right then, before we start even hosing it down, this is a must, this is for any car cleaner, ready? <laughs> Next step is we got some auto finesse all purpose cleaner. And then we're gonna just spray this on the mat. And then once once it's all covered in it, like um, I don't know, like some nice chicken peri peri sauce, we are actually going to drill it like this. Okay, so now that that's done, we're gonna rinse it off and then we're gonna put it to the side to air dry. Beautiful. Now, that mat is looking all fresh. Not 100% perfect, but we can just put it like here on this little dragon. Right, so the mats are all drying in the back. So, now what we've got to do is we've got to hoover up all of the carpet and stuff. You know, we've got loads of stuff down there. Um, luckily, it's all like dry stuff, so it hasn't like stained the carpet or anything. I guess you could say this part sucks. <laughs> Oh god, another joke. If anybody comes to my channel to watch like proper professional videos, get out, because literally you're not finding them. This is the trusty vacuum. It's probably got more horsepower than my car. Let's get this all plugged in, you know, rep, rep in the yellow because, you know, we're Asian out here. Let's get this all plugged in and vacuum, vacuum in my car. Very nice. But yeah, we have obviously cleaned and hoovered literally everything. It's looking beautiful. I mean, literally, I'm keeping my shoes out of the car so that it don't get uh, dirty. So, mats have been done, except for the dressing. I've got a nice little tiara to go with the dress. Yee! Hoovering has been done. Now, we are going to scrub down, you know, detail all of the plastics in the car. You know, make sure this is looking spotless. And then once we've done that, we are going to dress everything with um, spurts. And also, I've got some very exciting news for you guys. I've actually got in contact with Fat Bits. If you guys don't know who Fat Bits is, basically, I'm going to be getting a top quality steering wheel cover for my car if you guys want to 
see that it should be coming out in two weeks i think and genuinely i'm so excited because i've literally i'm not going to spoil what i've got but this steering wheel is going to be upgraded so yeah without further ado we're going to start off with the you know dashboards and everything we're going to make sure um we start off with the cleanest parts first and then move on to the dirty, dirtiest parts so this is literally an all-purpose cleaner it's like um some wizardry you know you can clean everything from engine base to this right we'll start off with the dash but um, it's gonna get all over the, um, the glass and everything, which is not what we want. But then again, we're gonna do that in today's video and I'm gonna super clean it. It's literally gonna be beautiful by the time I've finished with it. So we now have the detailing brush. Get that all lubed up and literally we're just gonna go all over the dash. And make sure this puppy is clean AF. So we're just gonna wipe this down now. Make sure there's no more shit left on there. So we're gonna do the rest of the interior and then we will dress it. And honestly, it will look beautiful once you've dressed it. It is beautiful. It's like when you get new crepes or something and you feel like um, a boss. This is literally what it's like. Right then, so the interior is now all nice and clean. I mean, a little bit of dirt, but again, I don't give a fuck. But yeah, look at these, like, these usually get demolished. They do. But yeah, here it is. Here's the final result, kind of, of, you know, first Passover with everything, you know. Now we've got um, the spurts dressing to put on the car, but yeah. All right, so if we go inside my garage, this is my little den. <laughs> We have actually got two things to put in the car, actually. We've got some air freshener, some auto finish air freshener. We've got spurts, and I usually use Dressel, because I really like Dressel. I use it literally for everything. This stuff is like the appetizer of drinks, like banging. This stuff literally smells of ice cream. It's beautiful. It smells like I've got an ice cream van. No joke. Let's actually spray this everywhere, and then we'll let this sit, basically. Oh my god, it smells so good. Literally, it smells so good. Oh my life. We are going to get this bad boy everywhere. Like, I'm not going cheap on this no more. So while that is sitting, literally, we don't even need an air fresher anymore. This one is Palma Violets. These sweets. This smells banging. It smells like, literally like those sweets. Um, but while we are here, we're going to grab our other new cloth. Ready to wipe off all of these spurts. Because it's a really hot day, we want we don't want it sitting on there for too long. Because um, it's literally just going to dry. So, we'll now wipe buff it all off, pretty much. Genuinely so so happy with the result of this like every time I use dressing like I mean look how like Nude all the plastic looks. I mean that just looks beautiful All oh, my days and literally the center console. There's no more dust. There's no more cheese There is a scratch right there, but that's about it literally Beautiful this looks like there's no even glass there like that's how or plastic there that literally looks it looks like it's just exposed. You know, the leather, it's had some dressing put on it, or fake leather, it's had some dressing on it, so it feels quite nice now. Uh, it looks really good. By this time, the mats were dry, so I used auto finesse dressing to dress the mats to make them look literally like some David Beckham ass shit. I then wiped off the excess and shoved them back in the car. step we are going to do is obviously the glass and this is probably the most important step for me personally i can make glass bang this might sound big-headed and stuff if you take this as big-headed 
you're a bloody sensitive bastard. What I do is I spray it onto the thing so that it don't go anywhere else but the cloth. I like circle motions, you know? Just go all around the edges and shit. Bop, bop, bop. This requires some bloody elbow grease. Literally, after you've done this, you'd have about a 10 hour nap. And then, what I do, don't know if this is actually needed, but I get a glass waffle cloth, and now that's what I use to make sure it's got no streaks. You can kind of feel it getting rid of all of the leftover bits on it. I'm gonna do the outside now, but um, I'll show you guys the results after. Now that literally looks like I'm looking outside. Just no window. Fam, there's a window there, what the hell? So there are marks on the glass, but there's no streaks or anything. Um, yeah, pretty foolproof um, way of cleaning glass, I think. And kaboom, we have done the glass, honestly. Look at this. Fam, I don't know if you can see any streaks. If you can, then fair enough. But literally, this is what a little bit of elbow grease and um, cloths can get you. Be wondering where's my thing i just take it off just to clean it there it is cleaning cars is no joke anybody who does this for a living fucking hell i respect the shit out of anybody who does this for a living i started at like 11 this morning it is now like six o'clock all right then so here is the windscreen and honestly looking fresh as fuck honestly but yeah that is not what we're all about today we are on about the interior and look at the mats they're like brown in some but they're proper like they look like proper like new kind of mats almost. You know, all the plastics are like dressed. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of my results. Do you guys like uh, cleaning it inside of the car? Are you a professional or, or are you like a beginner like me, you know? But right here we've got like a fresh new car pretty much. But yeah guys, just stay tuned for when I get this new steering thing. It is absolutely beautiful. It's literally one that you have to stitch in. So, kind of nervous to do it, but if it if I do it perfectly, it's going to look amazing. But yeah, guys, hit the subscribe button if you did enjoy. If you didn't enjoy, um, don't know how you got this far in the video, but literally, follow me on Instagram at the underscore other stuff. Literally, I'm just doing some nice pan shots of here. Yeah, so unfortunately, that is the end of today's video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. Excuse me for being very tired, but literally, it took me all day to do this. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you faces in my next video. Wow. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,